Hello everyone, welcome to video series number two, from me at least, for um, 22101 Evolution and Paleobiology. So I'm speaking to you today from a um, fairly grey and overcast autumnal Manchester. The, uh, the last video, in fact, was recorded over the summer. That's the one on milestones of evolution uh, that I made for you that we started off this course with, largely to um, test and develop the platform that I'm using to, de de to, sorry, to deliver these lectures. Um, I, I, since that point, I've focused on lecture writing for this course. And so now I'm actually recording these videos quite a bit closer to the actual delivery of the module. Uh, so if it looks like I've aged since I uh, recorded the last video, I probably have because, God, there were a lot of lectures to write. So uh, yeah, there you go, aging. That's nice and cheerful. And this lecture will be nice and cheerful because we're going to be covering um, uh, the equivalent of a two hour lecture slot as before and today we're looking at extinction. So I used to um, end the course with um, this lecture because I thought that it was quite fitting all in all to, to end a, uh, a lecture, a course with um, something on extinction but I, I just thought better of that this year and um, partly in terms of kind of delivering the course in a way um, that, that made sense. I, I didn't think this fitted last but also because it ended um, the entire series of lectures on a bit of a, a downer note. So I, I should warn you from the get-go that this isn't the most cheerful of lectures that I'm going to be providing for you. Um, before I tell you what I'm going to be talking about though, I thought it's worth, as with all of the topics that we're covering in this course, exploring a tiny bit about why this matters. Why should we care as people about extinction? Now, I, I hope that um, this won't be a particularly hard pitch, hard sell that I'll need to make. Um, extinctions of individual species impact on the ecosystems of which they are a part. We'll be learning more about ecosystems as a whole in our paleoecology lecture. And I would also point out that at this point, until very recently, humanity has largely benefited from the systematic destruction of species, of many ecosystems, and of nature. I mean, the entire way that we have traditionally um, made our lives has involved a significant impact on the uh, ecosystems of which we um, are a part. So do bear that in mind. And I, uh, of course, I think there are valuable arguments that we um, can make and should make about why we should inherently care about both biodiversity and the state of the planet. I don't think it should be a particularly controversial argument to have uh, to highlight that uh, making uh, species extinct, damaging ecosystems for our own ends, is probably not a particularly sustainable thing and will have bad knock-on consequences, but in, is in and of itself a thing that we should avoid because there is a principle at stake. That, I suppose, is a moral judgment and that is one that we could talk about in the Zoom session if you so wish or you can think about and talk about amongst yourselves. However, failing that, so let's imagine we exist in a world where we, we are not worried about the morals of um, the way we look after nature and the things around us. Even failing that, if we're interested only in humanity, um, as we will learn over the course of this lecture or these videos, extinction can destabilize a great many systems that we uh, as humans uh, rely upon already. Um, so there are all these systems and as we're going to see, um, extinction is already starting to impact on those and the impacts to humanity, to our culture um, in the future is um, quite hard to predict but it's probably not good. So for that reason I think today's um, uh, videos, the videos that you're watching over the course of I assume a day but maybe not, however long you're watching them over, um, I think uh, these are important topics that we should care about. So with that, I will finish by just highlighting what I'm going to be covering over the next few videos. So this lecture is going to start off by looking at the history of thought behind extinction. We will then go on over the course of these videos to look at the extinction of species. So this is looking at extinction as not a, um, uh, as a kind of a background process. It's a thing that happens to um, species no matter what after some length of time. So this is the kind of the background extinction and the process by which that occurs. But then 
we'll be looking at events that have punctuated the history of complex life on the Earth um, and probably uh, less complex life, just it's harder to see um, extinctions the further you go back in time. So take that for what it's worth. Actually, that was a throwaway and probably incorrect comment. But yes, mass extinctions, events where um, many organisms, many species have gone extinct in a relatively short period of time, punctuate the history of life on Earth. And we're going to be looking at um, definitions uh, of mass extinctions and patterns within those over the course of this lecture. And then we're going to look at the big five mass extinctions that we um, know about from looking at the fossil record. Then we're going to finish by looking at the sixth mass extinction. This is the mass extinction, as we will learn, that is currently occurring today. And this is where things get a bit dark, I'm afraid. Um, can't make it much happier, so I will just plow onwards. I just wanted to finish by reminding you that your coursework, that's our blog post, is due at 9 a.m., so that's nine in the morning, on the 9th of November, 2020. So please do get in touch if you have any questions about that or ask during the Zoom session. Um, but don't forget that it, it needs to be done by the 9th of November this year. So with that, that is the introduction, the introductory video to extinction. And let's plow onwards to look at the history of thought behind extinction. I'll see you in the next video in just a small while. See ya.